Every dog has his day. Okay, okay, I'm reloaded! <laughs> Raiders! We a nation of Raiders! It's a nation of Raiders! We a nation of Raiders! It's a nation of Raiders! We a nation of Raiders! It's a nation of Raiders! We a nation of Raiders! It's a nation of Raiders! Welcome to a new day, step up in the Oracle! Silver and black, you know we so historic! Many backbreakers, many chain treasures! The other teams only wish they could measure! Hello and welcome to another edition of the Inbounds with the Oakland Raiders. I'm Melinda Torgerson and joining us today is Seo Moore, number 55 for the Raiders. This is his first year in the NFL. Seo, it's nice of you to join us here. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity. Glad that you're you're sitting here with us today. Yeah, listening to some Christmas carols. Yeah, I know. It's <laughs> kind of nice that they're singing back right. there. So I know you um, attended the University of Connecticut. Yes, what was yes. your major while you were uh, Political attending? science political science what were you hoping to accomplish with that degree uh, you know the thing with political science to me it was something that intrigued me uh, while I was in college just uh, how laws were created how laws were made and really the morals behind them uh, when you look at um, you know especially during the civil rights movement and whatnot I, though that that timing was very uh, to me was very interesting and uh, there was a lot of controversy obviously and uh, those are the things that kind of really brought me to uh, want to know and learn more about politics and you know especially with women's rights as well. Wow it sounds like you might do something with that later on you sound very passionate about that. Uh, hopefully yeah I mean, hopefully uh, I plan on going back and uh, you know doing some more stuff uh, with school once the season's over with so I'm excited about it all. Nice so going back to high school I know you attended uh, Apex High School yes, so in North Carolina it's beautiful. Cougar Pride. Nice. Yeah. Um, so tell me, how did you balance your schoolwork and also sports? Uh, you know, the, the biggest thing I had to learn uh, was time management. You know, understanding, you know, you have to prioritize and prioritize the right way and uh, giving yourself the right allotment for, you know, to be able to relax, but uh, the right time to be able to do work and do work effectively. You know, uh, you don't have to put out like six hours to, to do work, but if you you know, you put out your two or three hours where you're actually sitting down, focusing and concentrating and getting your work done, then you don't have to drag things out. That way you can, you know, make time for other things like, you know, for your rest or if you want to go grab something to eat or if you want to, you know, hang out with your a friend or something. Well, that's great. Yeah. So um, I'm going to ask you as far as nutrition, what do you do on season and, and then also off season? You know, that's been the biggest thing with me. Yeah, uh, I'm sure it's not once, easy. Uh, once I started training for the combine, the biggest thing that I had to do was learn how to eat vegetables. I never ate vegetables for 22 years of my really? life. Really? No. My mom would literally have to fight me to eat vegetables. And uh, when I was getting ready for the combine, that's when I actually started getting in, into eating vegetables and doing it on a routine basis, you know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I, I found that it, it gave me so much more energy. It gave me so much more life. And, uh, you know, uh, and it actually helped me focus more. And, uh, you know, since then, I've, I've stuck to it and uh, try to eat vegetables with every meal now. So uh, wow. it's, been a, it's been a long road, but uh, I think we've made a lot of progress. I'm proud of you. <laughs> it's important. It's, it's for your brain, it is. It, yeah. It's for your body and it your is. brain. That's great. It, it is. So as far as exercise, what do you do, again, both on season and off season to stay in shape and keep your body in top condition? Well, uh, during the season, you really want to work to continue to maintain strength. Uh, as well as build build gradually, but the biggest thing is maintaining strength and maintaining your weight. Uh, so uh, you want to uh, you don't need necessarily need to go with heavy weight. You just need to go with the right weight that correlates with your body. And then in the off season, you really want to. For myself, I want you really want to crank it up, and uh, you want to get yourself bigger, stronger, faster, and uh, you want to eat eat the right way. You want to prepare your body to go through you know the rigorous season. Wow. Now, I, I know injury prevention is key for all of you guys out here. What do you do personally to prevent injury? Well, you know, you got to come in early. You know, you got to see the trainers and uh, get in the hot tubs, the cold tubs, and or whatever treatment that you may need, whether it be ice and stem or, uh, you know, um, getting, getting a massage or whatever it may be. Uh, but really, it's, it's about eating healthy, sleeping well, and uh, really going in and, uh, you know, making sure that any, you know, nicks and bruises get tended to early because the, the longer you wait, you know, the bigger the injury may become. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. So how are you feeling? 
Me? Yeah. Uh, I Are feel you? pretty good. Okay. You know, uh, good. everybody at this point in the season, you're going to have your nicks and bruises. But like I said, if you, uh, you know, sleep well, you eat well, and you go in the training room and you go in the, uh, the weight room and you do the things to uh, effectively control that, you know, you, you should be good to go. Now, for students that want to go on and go to college and pursue their dreams, uh, what would your advice be for them to stay on track and kind of stay focused and, and pursue their dreams? I'd, I'd say not follow the crowd. You know, um, the biggest thing is to to want to be different, want to, want to do things in a leadership role. You know, um, work work at a pace that, that sets the tone for everybody else. You know, uh, sometimes I know for myself, when I was in uh, high school getting ready to go to college, I was kind of afraid to be that to be that person that's different. And what I learned what I learned is being that person that's different that actually does the work effectively and um, you know takes that time out when everybody else is doing something else to study or do the work. It actually creates a a, a more um, a healthy environment for education, and that's the biggest thing. You know, you want to put yourself in a position where you're around people who are going to make you better uh, from a from a school standpoint and from a uh, from just a uh, people standpoint. Oh, that's that's really excellent advice. Uh, did you ever encounter um, like peer pressure or bullying when you were growing up? Did anyone pick on you? Oh or? yeah, I did, I did. But you know, the the, the thing about me, I'm a, I'm the type of person, and you know, you, you can't shake me. You know, uh, you got to have character to, to stand above people like that because those you know people who try to bully or or try to you know pick on you, you know, they they just want something that you have. You know, so you you look you look above them. And you continue to press on, and uh, you know try to do things to to continue to be great. Because there's always going to be somebody against you in life. But the more you do to set yourself apart, is when uh, you start to create an environment and 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 motivation for others. Uh, kind of, a, then you become a leader. Then you become a leader. Yeah. So, which is what you're doing right yeah. now. That's excellent. So, did you have a mentor growing up, or somebody I did. that you looked up to? I did. Who you know. I mentor. I did, I did a mentor program when I was down in uh, Apex. You know, working with some of the uh, middle school kids. And when I went up to UConn, we used to go up to the elementary schools and the middle schools and work with the kids a lot. Oh. And uh, you know, any time, any opportunity that I get to really work with kids, I'm big on because, you know, um, when I was young, they said it was it was my generation. Now that I'm a little bit older now, it's the next generation. That's right. And it's really, it's not so much, you know. Uh, our parents and the older people now, it's, it's about the, the, the middle generation of, of kids and people in my, in my age that can really make an impact on children now, you know. And the more, the more people that there are that are doing that, well, that's the more children we can help and the more children that can be led the right way. And it's about, it's about empowering the youth, man. If, if you're not giving back or giving to somebody, you know, uh, I feel like to me, like that's, that's life without any purpose. That's a good way to look at it. Yeah. So your job is a linebacker out here. Can you explain to us exactly what you do on the field? Uh, for me, how I look at it playing linebacker, you, you're, you're in the middle of the defense. You're the heart of the defense. You know, um, set the tempo. You know, I'm, I, I'm a player that I like to go out there and play with a lot of energy. And uh, I like to play with a lot of enthusiasm because it's, it's something that's contagious to, to everybody around them. You know, um, anything that you can do to affect everybody around you, whether it be football, whether it be school, whether it be life, uh, uh, as long as you're doing it in a positive way, it's always going to help. And uh, when I get on the field, that's what I try to do. I try to make sure that I get out there and I have fun and enjoy it. And sometimes it looks different, it looks weird, but like I say, sometimes you got to be a little different, you know, yeah. and embrace it. That's right. Now, I, I really want to ask you what drives you and makes you kind of excited and keep this level of, of enthusiasm. And uh, You know, when I look at life, uh, where I am now, yeah. you know, I, I never thought that this would be here. Wow. And uh, I look at everything that, you know, my mother, my grandmother, my sister, you know, they've done for me to get to this point. And, um, you know, when they see me happy, it makes me even happier to do something that puts a smile on their face. And uh, that's something that I want to continue to do. And pass on to my kids when I have them and pass on to my wife when I have them. You know what I mean? And it's all about, to me, it's all about giving to, to the next person. And that drive to, be, to become a great husband, a great father, to, to, to be a, a really great person, it, it gives me that life to go out here and let it all out.
you truly are like creating a legacy. Hopefully. You're, you are. You, you know? are. I can see it in you. Yeah. It's, it's wonderful. It's, 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 it's an amazing blessing, man. And, uh, you know, I don't take it for granted because I can tell. there was a time where I, I thought this would never happen. And that now that it's happening and, you know, uh, you know, I, I can, I can go to sleep at night knowing that, I, you know, I'm trying to make my grandmother proud each and every day. Nice. So. Well, thank you so much for being thank here with you. us. I really appreciate it. You gave great advice and I'm sure somebody's going to learn a big lesson from you. No problem. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm Melinda Torgerson. This has been another edition of the Inbounds with the Oakland Raiders. We'll see you next time.